Welcome everybody to the Tameside Stadium, Curzon Ashton's ground. FC United of Manchester in their home game against Curzon Ashton, which is uh, a little bit uh, strange, but you know, in our nomadic years, we've been used to things like this. And uh, from what I can see, Sam, this is uh, most certainly the strongest side for the afternoon. I think Margie's uh, got it bob on here. With, uh, bringing back uh, Jerome and Craig Linfield, uh, Ashworth and Lacey together Starting again. Starting with Rory Fallon, Roy. Well, that, that's I suppose Shelton on the bench. Yeah, R Rory or Wolfenden could have been a choice, but I think he did enough Saturday. Yeah, Rory and uh, yeah. I think Lacey and Ashworth, you know, yeah, they've got it going, haven't they, over this yeah. season? So uh, I, I think it's the right the right team. But as Josh said to me a few minutes ago, you can change position, bring somebody in on our squad and it won't really alter the quality. So that's uh, the strength of the squad. But this is a good side that we're playing this afternoon. And I can't help thinking that uh, they're going to treat this like a home game because they know it, the ground so well. Yeah. So I don't think this is an easy one at all. I don't think anybody does, Roy, do they? No, 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 I don't think so. I've, I've said for the last few games that this is that this is the most important one, particularly at Whitby on Wednesday. I thought that was that was a real bar set of that one to, to win that one. And then Rami could have been a banana skin. They won that. But in terms of teams that we play, these are working to the the two highest, aren't they? So, and like I say, they're very familiar with the surroundings. Obviously, the Nash. It's all in our hands. It's all about how we handle this last six games. Excellent crowd in here this afternoon, isn't it? Yeah. It can hold it, this ground, though, can't it? Yeah, it can, yeah. Well up, Callum. Let's give a free kick against him. Yeah. <laughs> I, th I thought it was a decent challenge, I've got to be honest. Oh, good save, Carnell. Well, that could have been interesting. Sorry to FC United on this uh, near side to us. It's going to need decent crosses if they're coming in the box from there. Callum Byrne tries a shot just wide. Well, I think that's probably the first shot we've had, is it? Goof. Daniels will chase it though. Well done, Greg. Good play. He's not giving anything there. <laughs> well. Throw into FC. 41 minutes on the clock. Brownhill to take. That's a nice ball back. Over it comes. Go on! from Liam Brownhill and they've toe poked it in there was two red shirts and all got behind the Aston defence two red shirts were there and it's a little Both toe poke and was it Linfield who scored that? So. Yeah. Tremendous and well first plug to FC United and what a good time to score it 41 minutes gone Josh they're very even so far I think that might change the way they play the second half Over. Right as well, it's a massive game, isn't it? That's a good ball. Free kick given. Didn't need to go in there. It's uh, Samuel Walker, the captain, standing over this. A bit of encouragement from the Curzon people around. Good oh, save, great Garnell. save, Garnell. It's going to come back. And ball given well, I'll tell you what, saved that well David Carnell as he's done so often this season. Well, 
it's uh, Ryan that says he's onside. I think he was a little bit offside there. <laughs> well, I was speaking to Harry Galloway, you know, uh, Curzon's chairman before the game, and he said, uh, you know, they're, they're looking in the playoffs, obviously, now. But if we win today... We spoke to Ramsbottom's chairman, he was saying. No, Harry Curzon. Gal Curzon, Harry, yeah. Harry Galloway is um, Curzon's chairman. Really nice guy. And thanks for his kind words today about us. Um, yeah, he's in now. Quite like Curzon. Oh, top guy, Harry. Top guy. Uh, I totally forgot what I was going to say now. Carry on. Um, Football. Yeah, yeah, I think, yeah, could, I think they're consigned to the playoffs. Yeah, they've consigned themselves to it. So anything they can get out of this would be a bonus. But if we were to win today, it mathematically puts Curzon and Blythe out of it, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Do, do anyone know the Ulkeston score? Um, Workington were losing. Because if Wilkington, if we win and Ulkeston don't win, shoot! Oh. Could have scored there. Yeah, time and space. You had time and space to work something there, didn't you? Finish off what you were saying. Um, I'm looking at you. Oh, you should have scored. Yeah. That was my well, point. it was a good effort. Yeah, no, I'm saying he had a bit in, of time. In, into the sun. It's terrible down there. There's a real shine when you're over there. There's a real shine coming off that board over there. So you can't see. I suppose you need... Oh, God, that's a... Bit of bad defending oh, there. Is. Number five, one on one. Fantastic save. Great stand up save. What do you think the attendance is? It's all these people around the pitch, mate. Yeah. Get rid of it. You cross about nod them in. I'd say around about 2,800. Something like 2,900. Yeah. Probably the highest of the season. Yeah, there's a stand. There's one of the stands by the goal looks pretty cool. Needs to watch oh, out for this. Of space. We've gone to sleep, really, yeah, haven't we? Gone to sleep at the back there, down at the right. The number ten had acres of space there. Uh, Ryan Brook. I think that's and, been uh, coming. I think I just think we'd forgotten. Not not forgotten how to read. Just didn't bother to. Yeah, I think um, it, we I had three players that could have picked him up down on the right there. The one-on-one -on -one uh, with Canel about five minutes ago was a wake-up call. I thought, but I think now. Um, 65 minutes in, it's uh, uh, FC United 1, Curzon Ashton 1. And uh, Curzon again now, level with the edge of the penalty area, short throw. We're letting them play. Head towards the penalty area, get a tackle in. Jerome's a lot of space here. Yeah. Has to do a lot of it himself though. Only got one up though. Cracking past that. And now we're up in numbers to take advantage of it. That's not the worst ball, but it's not the best. We've still got it there. Far post, heads. Not dropping for us, Josh. Lovely moving for you, Jerome, lad. Birch. All through Jerome in the box. All day, Jerome. Oh, oh Jerome! Oh, come come on, man. Did that? Hey? Did that? We're just plastered over and the keeper get an hand to that. I think he's uh, give a goal kick. Yeah. Sorry, Aiden. <laughs> Blowing your ears out. So nervous, I think, everybody. And it's going to be like this now. It has been for a few weeks. It's going to be like this. Too old. I don't, I don't know about you, Rod. Yeah, that's a. Play Jerome. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, what's he getting out for? Put, yeah, I mean, it goes back to the old days of referees not protecting Jerome, innit? Remember that? Yeah. We used to moan about it all the time. Yeah. <laughs> we did, didn't we? Gamekeeper and poachers. Yeah, it springs to mind with Jerome. Come on, boys, wake up, wake up, wake up. Post again. Well, I just feel we, it's. Um, have we have played that out. I'm sure that as the game's gone on, it uh, we've got more comfortable. It, it's yeah, a home, yeah. it is a home game for them. Once yeah. they're out there on the pitch. Yeah. Good turn. 
don't trip him up. Yeah, I don't believe that. I hate to keep saying it. No one picking up the man at the far post again. Well, what a miss that was. Oh, no. It was a decent ball, yeah, okay. was, yeah. Red ball. Now, you, you piece of kind, lads, just to make your way up to the penalty area. But not all of you. No. <laughs> I'll cut by now. <laughs> Over it comes. Nice ball, that. Headed up in the air. Oh, just oh, over. The bar. All right. Come on! Two minutes into the added five. Into the box. Heads on. And again. Shoot! Oh, oh. dear me, they got in each other's way. Well, he should have let the guy running onto it. Yeah. I think it was Greaves, shot. wasn't it? But, uh, take your time. Oh, blimey, O'Reilly. Nearly had the trailing leg. Sugar. I can't believe I just said sugar then. <laughs> and that's it, Roy. Yep, that's the game. That's the game. Well, Curzon Ashton did enough there, I thought, to uh, deserve that uh, draw. And really, the sitter of all sitters at the end there, where. The guy missed it, and he'll be up near wonder how, how he didn't uh, put that in the net. But well, good performance. We went in front of him. We just before half time, and uh, it was a hard fought first half that, and uh, we managed to uh, get the goal uh, from Craig Linfield. It was a cross from Brownhill, and Linny managed to stretch and just put it past the keeper. But I thought in that second half, I thought uh, Curzon Ashton came on strong to us, and we sat off them like you said. And there was some pretty poor marking at the times there, Kick. Well, I think we looked a bit tired and we lost a bit of focus. Definitely for about 15 minutes. But uh, you can't play that intensity all the time, game no. after game. No, you're quite running. right. You're quite right. And, uh, well, it shouldn't affect us that much. It was going to be a tough game. You are, we are for all intents and purposes. As I think we've got one or two more games left here, I think, being realistic. Yeah, yeah. So, fair result. Fair result, Keg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, fair result, 1-1. One, one. Uh, both teams had a uh, chance to dominate it. Both teams had a chance to win it. And I, th I think, as you say, one apiece, uh, fair play to both teams. OK, so the final score in Tainside Stadium is SC United of Manchester 1, Girls National 1. We've just heard in today's attendance is 3,071. 3,071.